Hi everyone, it's the evening of September 15th and uh, actually a, a few things have transpired today and uh, kind of makes my heart beat a little bit faster. Um, I'm trying to get back in touch with an old friend of mine. We had a falling out a few years ago and um, you know everyone had a role in it because it, it involved her and I and someone else and then someone else other than that so it got to be really messy but uh, it took me a while I thought I'd contacted her once via one email address, but I don't think she uses that one anymore. So I found a way to go and do it via Facebook, even though she has me blocked. She doesn't have all my accounts blocked. So um, I figured out what her Facebook email was and um, sent her a message via my address, one of my email addresses. And, uh, you know, and I, I was congratulating her on a success and, you know, that I was sorry for my part in what happened and that, you know, I'd like to be back in touch, but we'll see what happens. Uh, she usually, I'm assuming, because this, this was how it was a long time ago, I'm assuming she's not going to um, respond until the earliest tomorrow morning because I don't think she gets on at night. Um, or who knows, maybe she doesn't even get on every day, but, um, you know, I'm like, I want to hear from her, and yet in some respects I'm dreading to hear, oh, bitch, leave me alone, you know, um, but my letter was very polite, very nice, you know, and, you know, the thing is I've always looked at her as my little sister, and even when we had this big falling out, I never looked at her any differently. You know, yeah, I was angry. Never hated her, though I can say she probably hated me a lot. Um, but, you know, I mean, these kinds of things you just get over, you know, and I don't know, it's been four years. I can only hope that, you know, she's gotten over it by now. Uh, anyway, what else? I made dinner tonight and we had soft tacos. I also got my book. You know, I think I showed it earlier today. I was so excited. I actually started reading it um, from Eden to Exile. And uh, it's so good. I get so wrapped up in reading it, you know. I mean, I'm already a good portion. Well, not a good portion. I'm, I'm still in the beginning phases, but I'm like first 50 pages into it or so. And um, it's really good. Really, really good. Um, I also ended up taking Cassie over to her friend, um, friend's house, and um, the thing is, is from what I understand, when I talked to their mother last, that it was fine if Cassie goes over, you know, when she wants, you know, um, but the girls were lately spending time over at their uh, aunt's house or something like that, so Cassie wasn't able to come over. But then I hear that she doesn't like Cassie now. And, you know, and it was like, well, excuse me? You know, what did my daughter do to you or your kids? But anyway, I, but she, she didn't say a word to me when I talked to her. So anyway, I told Cass, I go, if she comes home early and she has a problem with you, you tell her to come talk to me. And I don't think she will because I don't think she wants to confront me about anything. In fact, I don't see her wanting to confront anyone about stuff like this. So, you know, and I could be wrong and she, she could contact me and go bitch, you know. But I don't think she will. And as far as I'm concerned, you know, kids do stupid things, you know. But, you know, you get over it and they learn a lesson, you learn a lesson, and you move on. So, anyway, so that's the other thing. I um, guess that's really about it. I didn't have a whole lot else to uh, talk about. I, my nerves are on edge, though, trying to, um, well, waiting to hear from um, my friend. And, uh, you know, I, I hope it is a positive outcome. But, you know, it could be that I don't even, that she doesn't even reply at all, which is always a possibility, though I think she's going to want to know how I reached her, you know. But, whatever, you know. I can only hope for the best. Anyway, that's it, and I guess I will sign off for the evening. Bye.